I hope you guys having a good day today. And if you're not having a good day today, that's okay. We all have bad days, we all have off days. But don't, don't keep yourself down, don't keep yourself negative. Don't focus on the problems in your life. We can always turn things around. What I wanna to talk to you about today is being a yes man until it's time to say no. This is a philosophy I go by, honestly. It's easy to go by because I just don't like to disappoint people. I, just, I, I, I don't like telling people no. So it's really easy for me to just try to be a yes man because I don't want to say no. I, see me trying to use the microphone to block the sun. These flowers though. These aren't flowers, but uh, whatever these white things are. So nice. So many of them. But let's just get into the talking about me, my story, my life, where this is affecting me now. I got a job. Lots of people got jobs. Now in my job, I'm new to it. See all these nests here like that? I think, I think like animals have like have babies in them. I should actually, I should gotta walk around these things. I don't wanna ruin all these animals. Nah, so last time I came over here, it was like, hundreds of turtles that I disrupted because I was stepping over where they were living, being born, sleeping, raising, okay. My job though, I have a, I have a store I'm supposed to go work at, right? And my boss likes to ask me a lot, can you go here, can you go there, can you cover this ship? This person can't go, this person can't make it. I need you to cover this ship, I really need you here. Can you go there? And I'm always like, and then people, it's not just him, that all my coworkers call me like, hey, can you cover a ship for me? Are you, can you come in today? Are you free on this day? And if I can make it, like honestly, like if there's no like real physical reason that I can't make it in, I usually say yes, because honestly, I just don't like to disappoint people. I don't like making people feel that or bound down or just like, I really, I like, I, this is my kind of belief, like I'm kind of a yes man until it's time to say no. And that's really the more basis. When is the time to say no? But I do think it's good to be a yes man. There's that video movie with Jim Carrey where he's a yes man. And it shows like he had all these problems, but I mean, out of, he went through all that negativity, but all the positivity he ended up getting out of it, it actually made it worth it. There's that at some point he had to come to the conclusion that he has to be okay with saying no when it's necessary. And it's honestly, it's a lot of the way my philosophy, I just say yes, 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 in a sense, even when I don't want to, because I don't really want to just, I don't want to work these chefs. I don't want to go to some store 40 minutes away to cover this guy's chef. I don't want to work in general a job like that. If I could, you know, there's things I don't mind doing. I want to do something. There's things I like to do, but I don't want to just go work a regular job. It's not really what I want to do. Honestly, I want to say no. I want to stay home, eat pizza and play Xbox. That's what I want to do with my life. But that's not going to make me happy. That's going to make me depressed, but that's not what this video is about. So yeah, I keep saying, I say yes, it is like, it starts off negative too. It's like on my way over there, especially it was really prevalent yesterday. It was like, cause I was going to the store I've never been to before. So I was like finding my way there. I was running late. The GPS said I'd get there in like 40 minutes. It took me like 50 and I started off like I was gonna be late anyway. I didn't walk into the building until like it was 20 minutes late. I've never been there. I gotta go find the manager. I gotta go get myself set up. You know, I gotta get myself into the register. There's all these things I'm having anxiety about, but it's like, it doesn't even, when you're having the anxiety, it's not like, you have it in that moment, you do the things and it's gone. It's like, no, I was having anxiety the whole way over there and so much fear, like every step of the way, rushing to get out the door from home. The whole way over there, I was just worried that I was gonna run to somebody, somebody's gonna say something. And then when I got there though, it wasn't that bad, it was positive. I didn't even see the manager. I didn't even talk to any manager. I didn't, I just talked to just some of the other people who worked there who, who had who didn't even know who I was, didn't care of when I was supposed to be there, the fact that I was late. Like nobody noticed I was late. Nobody even cared I was late. Nobody realized. I mean, my boss found out I was late. He would care. But what really happened in reality is no one cared. No one noticed. And I actually 
enjoyed working at that store. I actually liked the people who were there. I liked the environment of it. You know, I, the whole way over there, I was having anxiety. And then the moment I start working there, I actually feel good about working there. I feel good that I'm there. I actually, I like be, I actually like being there. So it's like the point is like, yeah, it's just like in the Jim Carrey movie where it started off negative, but I really I turned to positive. And then what's really good too about when I go to a store. I've never been at or I gotta go to store 40 minutes away. I make it extremely positive. I think, yeah, these look like the nests where all the baby turtles were. Got the water here. But I probably I probably can't even shoot with that background anyway. Yeah, it's unfortunate when the, the nice background's there, but I shoot my video like that, the sun's there. So it's not gonna come out so well because my face is probably dark, dark right now and the lighting and the color is not gonna be all right. So anyway, back to over here. It was a bad situation for me all the way over going there. So much stress, so much anxiety, so much worry. Then the moment I get there, I actually like it. And my store today, I actually, I'm at my store now, which is 10 minutes from where I live. I got there completely calm, giving no, you know, I just didn't care at all whatsoever. I wasn't, I showed up late too. When I went to my store today, uh, uh, saying things here. I don't think my boss will ever see this, but I stopped at the, I was already going to be late. I knew I was going to be late. I stopped at the gas station. I stopped at the bank and then I went to work and I was like, I don't, I'm not really concerned. Like I really just was not concerned at all. I was worried to an extent. I did have, it's not like I just didn't care whatsoever. I was worried about it, but I was like, I, in my mind, I was like, don't worry about it. Just do what I want to do. Cause I'm going to feel better. But then when I'm actually in the store, a lot less worry my whole way coming over there, a lot less worry when i'm actually in the store i don't feel as good it wasn't as positive it wasn't as good the environment just didn't feel right i felt more pressured being in that store because it's like oh this is my store this is where i'm comfortable and now there's there's weird where the comfort i've noticed the comfort turns into a discomfort like when i go to a store that i'm not comfortable at whatsoever the whole way over there i don't know anything when i'm actually working i'm just here Nobody knows me. Nobody concerned about me. Nobody says anything to me. But then I go to my own store where I am comfortable at. And when I get comfortable, then people start knowing you. People start saying things to you more. Not like this, you should be afraid of people, but like when you're in a work environment and then they want to be on top of you more because they expect a standard from you. But then I find really that in where I went to the places that I was the least comfortable at, I became the most comfortable. Wow, this video is going, yeah, I know, this is going all over the place. Let me get on to how I made it really, really positive by being a yes man. But I am explaining too, how uh, when I went after where I was uncomfortable, I, when I got there, I was more comfortable. Than, and now today I go to the place where I'm comfortable in the way going. And when I get there, I'm actually less comfortable because I should be comfortable. It's, it's like a root, it's like, it sounds like it doesn't make sense, but it's kind of like, it's a real paradox where if you get too comfortable, then you get too relaxed, you get lazy. Maybe when you're there, you have an anxiety, you have, you're worried because you know everything you should do. And it's like, oh, so what should I do that? Because you already did everything. But then when you're figuring stuff out and you're overcoming challenges, you're proving to yourself that you can overcome challenges and you're, you're strengthening your own ego and your own confidence because you had problems, you had situations and you faced them. And it's such, it's so empowering when you face a challenge, when you don't know what you're doing, when you have to figure it out and you prove to yourself that you could do it, you could figure it out. And more importantly, and you prove to yourself that nothing happened, that you were worried about nothing, that everything was going to be okay anyway. That's so empowering when you do that. I mean, I mean with my hands around. There's bugs around me. We had a, uh, back, I've been here. I've been here before. This is a place that's close to where I'm working now. I'm actually, I want to break now at my job. But yeah, let me talk about how I really took a positive and I made I made I took a negative and I really made a positive because a lot of my videos I shot recently if you saw some of my other videos they had these really nice like watery backgrounds like there was like lakes here like instead of me standing here then there's grass and the trees over there it was like I'm standing here getting bit by mosquitoes there were less mosquitoes there I gotta go somewhere else but like I'm standing here but instead of right here was water it was so vast wonderful 
This is nice. I like this. I don't know how that looked on camera, but there was water here, then the trees were there. Everything was green. I didn't have these poles. Like, because I had to go to those places, because I had to go out of my way, it was like, I was already there anyway, so where am I gonna film my video? There. So because I had to go to a different store, it, for, it made me, my videos were by default better. They were shot in better environments, in better places, because although oh, all is negative, it was, at the end of the day, it's positive, because I had no choice but to film the video there. I was already there. So if I, if I kept coming to the same store, it'd be so much more easier. But then in that easiness and in that comfort, I would get more tired, I would get more lazy, and then I'd be here like, where am I gonna go? Am I gonna come to this place? and shoot the same videos here every single day, the same exact time. But since I had no choice but to go there, it forced me by just default to have to be somewhere else and to have to shoot a video with a better background, a better place. That's Now that's taking something, a bad situation that's uncomfortable and making it positive because now I put out, I get to make my videos. This is getting too repetitive, but I'm really trying to explain the idea though that it was a negative situation in theory but in practice it was really really positive because i was able to make better youtube videos and completely different environments i looked even better than this much better than this i was at some really nice places this place no offense could use a little cleaning up but let's also talk about too until it's time to say no I, I, I feel so like I'm the kind of person like I don't want to disappoint people I want to help everyone I want to do good for everyone I want to be there for everyone I can I want to do everything I possibly can in my life you know this isn't like I've always been like this these are like the ideas I'm trying to live by now but until it's time to say no at some point I feel like I'm being taken advantage of though it's like I actually mentioned it to my boss is like like, I honestly, I think I'm being cheated here because now I only got two days. Like, next week, I got two days I'm scheduled to work in my store. The other person who's working there has five days. So I got two days at my store and five potential days. I already got one, I'm going to another store. It's not that far, but it's still four potential days that he's gonna he's he's holding me on the side so he can send me to some store 40 minutes away. Now to me, it's not about necessarily the time. Like it is considerable ten, if, to go to this store, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes going, 10 minutes back, 20 minutes. For me to go there, it's another hour of my life. That's an hour of my life. For me to have to go to that store, I'm spending an hour of my life in that day just traveling, wasting my time that I'm not getting paid for. Then I gotta pay more money to go there because I gotta spend money on gas. I drive a Jeep, I don't, I don't get good gas mileage. So it's like I'm spending over, I'm spending an hour extra on travel time minimum minimal probably even more than that I, 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 I like on top of that's not even just like um oh my words all over the place that's on top of I mean because I'm considering here I probably spent like 20 25 minutes to go over there I could spend an hour to two hours is easily at least an hour on top of extra travel time and I don't even know how much more gas definitely use another gallon probably two to three to probably two to three gallons of gas extra to go to this place spending more time spending my own money so it's like at some point I'm like hold up hold up this is where you got to say no at some point like it's great to be a yes man I really I think the idea of being a yes man is really underviewed, undervalued, underappreciated because you really can take all these negative situations and it's about finding the positive, about figuring it out. What are you going to do? Just sit at home in your comfort zone, never get out of your box, slowly but surely just like let the world take you away as you're dying slowly. It's, a, it's enlightening. It's, it's an experience. It's an adventure. It's freedom to get out of your comfort zone and to just do whatever it is you gotta do. I don't wanna be too specific, cause whatever it is you gotta do, like this is my story of what's happened to me, but you're in your own situation, dealing with your own problems or negative situations that you're gonna turn into a positive situation because there's no reason why you can't turn any negative situation into a positive situation. There's no reason why us as humans can't just be walking around in a state of pure bliss, freedom, happiness, 
It's our default state. It's how we are a child. It's when we become adults after years and years of brainwashing that we sink down and we become just these mindless zombies that are just angry, tired, and upset all the time because we have so much trauma from our childhood. We're still going through trauma in our adulthood that we can't let go, that we can't properly deal with. And it's also, it's, it's really, it comes down to the way that we're dealing with it because it could be some dumb situation and you turn it into trauma because you got to keep thinking about it. This is a golf course I keep coming to. It's almost going to be summertime, but this place don't look like it's closed down. It looks nice, but it kind of looks like they haven't opened it in a really long time. Good for me though. Nobody here. I got to just be here shooting my video. Checking out the trees and the purple flowers on the trees. Ooh, purple flowers. Oh, there's a white flower. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's like a batting cage. But yeah, when I want to talk about two, I think it's my philosophy. I think it's just the way I believe. I think it's great. It is wonderful. And it's just like enlightening to just be a yes man, to be a doer, to just get out and just do things. Because when you sit in your comfort zone, I mean, is there true happiness in doing the same exact thing for a year, two years, five years, ten years, going to the same job, in the same place, doing the same exact thing? It gets depressing after a while. I say that from just like minimal experience I could know it gets depressing. I can't imagine some guy be like, I did the same job for 20 years unless it's something you're really passionate about. And I think part of the thing about it is not like you're just passionate about it, not that it's just something you wanna do. I think we all, we need to feel like we're advancing and we're moving forward. We need to be in a career that there is no such thing as stagnation and that it's always you're just constantly moving forward based on your own performance. Cause that's gonna just keep you going, keep you inspired, keep you, Move forward but I wanted to say too is be a yes man until it's time to say no though I think it's great to be a yes man but I think you also need to have firm boundaries you set up for yourself where it's like okay you're sending me to West bubble ass I'm putting all this time and work in for you what am I getting out of it at what point are you taking advantage of me? At what point should I say no? And that's really what I want to wrap up here with. I think we should all just get out of our own ways, get out of our own heads, get out into the world like I'm trying to do right now and just give it your all, give it your best, do everything you can. Don't let anything stop you. Go after where you're uncomfortable. I think it was Leonardo da Vinci who when he got too comfortable would throw out all of his home possessions, all everything he had, because he knew that he lost his creativity when he got too comfortable, and it was in the discomfort that he had most of his inspiration, because that's when he needed to do it. That's when his mind was activated, because it had to do it. But when your mind gets comfortable, it tries to, it tries to, like, it's all, it's all trying to make you survive. I want you to just stay comfortable and sit there for your own survival and to try to conserve energy, but, when you're just in a conserve energy space, like I've, I've experienced this myself, there's there's no, it's depression. It, that's what depression is. Depression isn't like, oh, I'm sad. Depression is like, oh, my energy is compacted and it's not coming out. I just, I feel like all my emotions and all my thoughts are just getting stuck in here and they're like trapped, like they're hitting a wall and they're just, they can't get out. And expression, getting out of your own way and just giving and doing. <sighs> the engagement in life, that's where the beauty and the happiness and the peace really is. It is depression to be comfortable because your mind is trying to grab a hold in you and conserve all your energy. Well, I don't even know where I'm going with this. I'm gonna wrap up. I want you guys to try your best to get out of your own way, out of your own heads and do everything you can. Be a yes man, but also be aware of when it's time to say no. Don't just say no because you're uncomfortable. Don't just say no because you don't want to do something. Don't just say no because you're rationalizing, you're making assumptions, you don't like the idea. 
but you say no when you feel like you're just being taken advantage of. That's when it's time to say no. When you know it's going too far, when you're abusing yourself, when you're giving too much more than you're getting back. I mean, when you're giving to the universe, when you're giving into your passion, into your hobby, into your creativity, that's when you want to give your all and forget about what you're going to get back in return. Wait for that to come later in the future. But when you're just, when you're giving to other people at all, this is where you do need to draw boundaries. And you got to realize when you're giving more to other people than they're giving you in return, that's when you got to cut, that's when you got to cut them off. <sighs>